Now, we've discussed the uh, California Public Records Act on several occasions, and uh, what it does, what it says is that uh, you're entitled to ask any government agency basically for uh, anything you want, all the records, uh, interagency communications, uh, emails, phone records, just about anything. Now, uh, it happens that uh, I have a reason to ask for those things, and we're going to ask the uh, Santa Ana, uh, city of Santa Ana for records uh, pertaining to uh, two citations that are pending. And today is uh, May 15th, 2012. Let's see what happens. I'm going to need uh, uh, interagency communications for January 15th and 16th. Uh, interagency communications between uh, City Hall and Orange County Sheriff and Santa Ana Police Department. Do you know what department that's with? Mm -hmm. uh, that's not my. It's not my job. Okay. <laughs> I'm just here to ask. Where, where you would go to? Well, I'm here. This is City Hall, right? Right. Okay, and check with City Hall. And here's the law right here. Uh, it says that records include all communications related to public business, regardless of physical form or characteristics, including any writing, picture, sound, or symbol, whether paper, magnetic, or other media. That includes electronic media uh, records and uh, pretty much anything. And that's what I'm asking for. By state law, uh, you're obliged to hand over the uh, records, uh, interagency what communication. Kind of between City Hall, the City of Santa Ana, okay. and, this one, and this, uh, Santa Ana Police Department, and the uh, Orange County Sheriff. Okay. For the dates, I'll say this one, for the dates, uh, January 15th and 16th, and uh, January 23rd and 24th. Okay, I wouldn't have those records, so I'm just going to the city manager's office. Okay. Yeah. I'm a journalist. And what's your name? My name is Teresa. Hi, Teresa. See you So we've been told to go over to the city manager's office to uh, to get the records that uh, were just requested. Thank you, Teresa. And where where would that be? Go straight down the steps to the left. To the left, you'll see the elevators right before exiting the doors. They're kind of hidden back there. Look yeah. so a little U-turn, and okay. it's on the eighth floor. Okay, good. But in this building, right? yeah, just around the corner. Thank you, Teresa. You're um, and here we are at the city manager's office, the city of Santa Ana, and we're going to provide the uh, California Public Records Act to the folks up here and, uh, and see if they honor the request. What do you think they're going to do? Anybody home? I did three times. I think maybe you know that I'm coming. Hi. I'm going to need the um, interagency communications. Uh, interagency communications between the city and Santa Ana Police Department and Orange County Sheriff for the dates. Uh, Okie dokie. Now, actually, I'm not obliged to do that. Um, I'm asking you to provide the uh, information that I've asked for here. I've, I've, we don't have um, it readily available, so we need to research it and then get it back, give it back to you. We need some way of communicating or get in touch, yeah. get in touch with you. Um, doesn't say anything about that. That's, that's not an issue as far as California Public Records Act goes. It says records include all communications related mm -hmm. to public business. I, I'm not denying your form. request. I'm just saying you need to complete a form no, for us that. to be able to identify the records. No. Mm -hmm. That doesn't say that. Is your machine on? Uh, yeah. Okay. And what's your name? Maria. Maria. 
Last time? We, sir. Okay. Um, no, what it says, access is immediate and allowed at all times during business hours, 6253A. Staff need office. not disrupt operations to allow immediate access, but a decision whether to grant access must be prompt. An agency may not adopt rules that limit the hours records are open for viewing and inspection. The agency must provide assistance by helping to identify records and information relevant to the request and suggesting ways to overcome any practical basis for denying access. The agency has 10 days to decide if copies will be provided. I haven't asked for copies. The agency may never make records available only in an electro electronic form. Access is always free. So, Marie is asking me to uh, fill out a form now, which uh, I'm not really obligated to do. But we'll see what she comes up with, because we're just kind of doing an exercise here and how this is, uh, well, what the law says and what happens when, uh, when people actually ask for these things. And we'll give her a moment to, uh, to come up with whatever this form is. Now, the part the agency may never make records available only in electronic form, which is a, a way of saying that uh, uh, they can't just provide the, an electronic uh, record or a, a PDF file or something like that. They have to provide paper copies of what actually occurred. Uh, I haven't asked for any PDF files. I'm only asking for the, uh, the actual records. And frankly, I don't really care what form they're in, but the law states that uh, they have to be in paper form. And they have to have a reason for uh, not providing the, uh, paper copies, you know, whatever number I ask for. But I'm being reasonable about, the, about this. I'm just asking for particular records, and uh, a couple copies would be adequate for the purpose. Well, here's the thing. I'm here at the, what I'm being told here is that I have to fill out a form that the, uh, the records are not available. And I've been provided with this form that uh, at all times during regular business hours and can be inspected at no charge. Okie doke. So we're going to fill out the form specifically and move on from there. And unless I can think of a reason why I should provide information that I'm not obligated to provide according to state law, I'm not going to do it. I've also asked if there's anything illegal about recording this process. And she said no, but uh, seems to be rather upset with me for or making her uncomfortable, which I don't know if uncomfortable has anything to do with the state law, but uh, looks like we're going to find out how uncomfortable she is very soon now. <laughs> hey, man. She said I wasn't doing anything illegal. Is it, are you aware of anything that's illegal about recording? I'm just trying to follow the law, you know. That I could give you. Yeah. She's just asking that we have to have a way to be able to communicate with those, I, I those don't, documents. No, I'm here to get them now. I mean, I'm here. And I'm not obliged to fill out anything. And there's a, you know, even if I, I, if I was, I, there's, there's no reason to, to sit around waiting for it. Yeah, would you like to read the one? Yeah, no, it's just that we have them readily available. We can give them yeah. to you, but we well, don't, so we have yeah. Well, that's actually, uh, if, 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 she were, if she were to say that uh, they were archived or something, but we're talking about recent records, right? And if she were to say that, um, uh, that there was a reason, a specific reason why they couldn't be provided, there still wouldn't be a reason to um, fill out contact information or say anything. I'm trying to follow the law right to the letter for educational purposes. If I start making concessions about the law, then we're not going through the educational process here. I don't think they like me very much here, but hey, what do you expect?